Um, Honorable Chief Justice, today we are here to celebrate you once again. May I take the first opportunity to congratulate you for being the first woman Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to congratulate you for what you are about to do, which is to launch your vision for the next 10 years. This is an indication that in the last 100 days, you work tirelessly to make sure that you set a direction that you will follow and that the judiciary will follow for the next 10 years. I congratulate you because without a vision, the Bible says people perish. Without a vision, you would not know where to take this judiciary. So it takes a very intelligent head of an institution to set targets not only for yourself, but for the institution that you are leading. And for that, I really congratulate you. My second congratulation is to the judiciary as a whole. Because of the performance, management, measurement, understanding, evaluation report 2019-2010. But the first congratulation really goes to the fact that you are the first ones in Africa to do this. May I say congratulations. When performance contract came into this country, I was in the university. And it took us a very long time to understand what it was, because we thought when you teach, you have taught. But eventually we discovered that there is also bad teaching. Eventually we discovered that it is possible to go to class, one teaches 10, another one teaches 100, and nobody has a measure of who has done what. So performance measurement, uh, performance uh, management is a very, very important tool. And I'm glad that the judiciary in our country impressed it very, very early. Because it is very important that we measure what we do. It is true that what you measure is what you do. If you don't measure anything, you have no idea whether you have done or you have not done. So this measurement, uh, this performance management and measurement understanding is a tool that will let us even know whether we have moved from one year, whether we are performing from one year to the next year, and what has not happened. And it is very true, as uh, Justice Murgo said, that it also highlights the challenges that we have because there is nothing we can do in any sector without challenges. But when you identify those challenges, then you are able to address and move on. So this, to me, is really the best thing that uh, the judiciary did for this country, the fact that you can measure. Um, we know that when we think of judiciary, we are thinking of justice, and we say delayed justice is denied justice. And uh, we become the loudest when we are parliamentarians on that one, and we cling to that without knowing what may be going on on the other side. But um, Madam Chief Justice, I'm here on behalf of the legislative of government, and I want to give you assurance that we shall work together to make sure that you fulfill what you have set forward to do for this country. I want to give you assurance on behalf of my speaker who asked me to bring his greetings and congratulations too, because um, we recognize the fact that um, with the incoming of the Constitution 2010, two houses of parliament were introduced. And in some instances, we also have conflicts even between ourselves. Sometimes we are inviting you and the National Assembly inviting you for the same thing. And we, are we, are we have uh, reached a point and we are glad that we went to court and, did, and uh, it was passed that there are some things that we must also consult between ourselves. So that even laws that we are formulating now, there are laws that, must be con that, that demand 
that there must be evidence of consultation. And this is one of the areas that we are looking at currently. So soon, because we are only eight years old, as and at devolution, very soon things are going to be sorted out. And a lot of things are going to be done in a more organized manner. We are, devolution is still the baby in the room in this country, and we believe that we are going to panel pit and things are going to be done. So I want to assure you that all will be well between the legislative and oversight arm of government and the judiciary and the executive, because we are all trying to look at the issues that have really caused the frictions that have sometimes come up. So I want to assure the judiciary that um, as the legislative arm, we are debating and looking at those issues. Finally, um, uh, Madam Lady Justice, again, I want to congratulate you because you came in running. You didn't hesitate when you took up the position you came running. For some of us, we are not surprised because we knew you from when you were in the Law Society of Kenya. In fact, as the wonderful members of the Judicial Service Commission were doing interviews, some of us had already rung to you before they made the announcement. <laughs> and I want to assure you that uh, with that running that we have started, the country will be different. It will be different because we know the commitment that you had, I do remember very well the times when you sacrificed to be, the way, to be with women every lunch hour in the bombers, constitution making process, your passion to see equality of purpose within the country, your, power, your passion to see women move into position of leadership, and we thank God that uh, God delivered one to you yourself. And we, I, I must say that uh, we are very proud as a country that uh, one of the three arms is already led by a lady. So we are already in the 30% that we have been looking for. <laughs> and with those remarks, congratulations again and thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Kamar. And th